All right, guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be talking about the Ultima Weapons missions and quests, specifically the Providence cores, which is needed to create and limit break the Ultima Weapons. Now, I mentioned a little bit about this in my first Ultima Weapons video, but I figured I'd go a little bit extra with this specific infographic so that way you guys know uh, exactly when, uh, like how much providence scores you will be getting uh, how to get them you know so on and so forth so uh, hopefully this infographic that was done by rem from the city of db shout out to him and thank you for giving me permission to use this uh infographic in this video but uh, hopefully with this infographic right here it'll give you the last little bit of uh, information that you guys need to know before ultima weapons and c90 uh drops to global default so uh as always if you guys do enjoy the video consider liking the video and subscribing for future opera omnia content and if you do have any questions feel free to comment down below and i will answer them as quickly as possible so let's go ahead and jump into it let's talk about the providence course so uh, you get 30 to 60 Providence cores per event. Now, the 60 is m mostly for events that come at mid to end month. And then the 30 would be for like other events. So it can vary between like 30 to 60. And I say vary because like some events are different. You know, some months they it might be different. They might be like, hey, uh, we're going to give you guys Providence cores because why not? Or maybe we might get it like via daily login or something else like that. You know, like it can vary from, from month to month. So it just depends on like what's going on, the event, so on and so forth. Now, for those who purchase the premium mock pass, the most expensive pass, guess what? You guys do get an additional benefit now for purchasing uh, the premium mock pass because now you get an additional 20 Providence scores, extra Providence scores uh, per event. So that'll help you out in speeding up the process of trying to limit break an ultimate weapon or trying to create a new one, whatever it is that, you're, that you are wanting to do. Now, uh, one of the first ways to get the Providence scores is either by uh, or first you have to awaken uh, a character to this C, the Crystal C90, right? Or yeah, the Crystal C90. You know what I mean. Um, so you have to get them to their Crystal level 90 and then you instantly get 10 Providence scores just like that. Now, to get the five for that character, you need to clear an eligible Lufenia so that you can get those five Providence scores. So like, say, for example, at, with the image that you see right now, we have Onion Knight, Sid, Sarah, and Noel. If you do any Lufenia stage and you clear it, then you will get 20 Providence scores because uh, you used uh, all four, or you went and took these four characters uh, to a Lufenia fight and you cleared it. And you will be getting like five of each, which in total will be uh, 20. So uh, just, just I just went ahead and summed it up just for the hell of it. Uh, but yeah, so easy peasy. It's not hard to do to get yourself a, a, a free 15 Providence scores just by doing like some basic stuff. And especially with C90, uh, for those who do have or are still having some difficulty uh, with Lufenia fights, um, with C90, it does actually make... Uh, it does help out a whole lot in trying to complete Lufenia fights, but normally the best way to do it for newer players or players who are still struggling is to like go back into the previous or uh, old Lufenia stages and then like completing those so that way you have uh, an easier time in being able to um, get these uh, Providence scores. Now, speaking of these stages, uh, ele eligible Lufenia stages can be assessed from the new Ultima mission screen. So as you can see, you click the little button where it shows the option uh, for getting five Providence scores for said character. So once you click that button, you're gonna be taken into a new screen, which is this right here. And this will show off every single Lufenia fight that is eligible to be able to uh, use these characters, the 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 C90 characters, uh, to complete it and get your five Providence scores for each of the uh, C90 characters that you take to whatever stage. So it goes as far back as up to like eight Lufenia fight, and even I think even further back, I believe they also do count the Shinryu uh, fight, the story chapter fight, and that one as well. But don't quote me on that. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so all of like the lost chapters and, and whatnot, the had Lufenia stages. Well, guess what? You'll be able to access them. Uh, some of these story chapters that had Lufenia fights, you will be able to access them so that you can uh, use your C90 characters uh, to be able to get five Providence scores. Now, one thing that I do want to know is that each stage can be used for at most three characters. That means if you decide, hey, I'm going to go into eight Lufenia stage and I'm going to take Sid, Sarah, and Onion Knight, right? So if you clear that Lufenia fight, then those characters are locked to that stage. And if and after that, you cannot you you cannot tackle or uh, go into that Lufenia fight again to try to get those five Providence scores for like say another character because you have already taken up the three slots uh, for that Lufenia stage. So you, you're gonna have to go to another one. So uh, as you can see, there's here's an image for an example. So um, as you can see on the left image uh you see that there's a little icon right next to the character's head that is the indication that these characters have been locked to this lufenia stage now you can technically switch out of them the thing is though like you, i believe and i and i could be wrong on this but i'm gonna go ahead and say it just to be on the safe side um but i think if you do switch out the lu if you do switch out the original characters that completed that lufenia stage and you try to uh, tackle it with a uh, another set of uh, C90 characters, I don't believe you will get the five Providence scores. So you have to go into a different Lufenia stage to be able to do it. <clears throat> now, level 200 stages that are not labeled as Lufenia are not eligible to earn Providence scores. So some ex examples would be the Boss Rush quest. That is not counted. Uh, Dimensions and Transcendence. That is also not counted uh, in getting these uh, provenance scores. Now, uh, another thing uh, with um, with this update that's going to be coming to uh, to global is that whenever you go into a Lufenia fight, and before before you go into the fight, you get you you're on the screen uh, where you set up your party, your uh, call ability, so on and so forth. So whenever you go onto the tab where you have the little provenance core icon, zero out of three. There's going to be a new button that appears, and this is called the strategy button. The strategy screen displays the recommended party for the associated stage as well as a summary of its battle mechanics. Make sure to include the mission character when building a clear party. Again, you don't have to complete the Lufenia stage. As long as you get the clear, it will count for you getting the five Providence score. So, uh... For again, for players especially who are still struggling with Lufenia stages, but are really wanting to get these Providence scores for the, your C90 characters, well, um, these characters right here, oh, I'm sorry, uh, just being able to clear instead of complete said Lufenia fight will make things a little bit much easier for you guys, so that way you don't have to stress out about it. Now, uh, I will go ahead and answer a few questions that was uh, commented in my previous Ultima. Uh, weapons video where they asked me, well, what if I take one C90 character and two C80s? Like, will I still have the two empty slots for those two C80 characters? Yes, you will. The one C90 character that you use will get locked into the stage and you will still have two free open slots for any C90 character that you want to use in the future. So uh, if, if that helps you out in case, like, let's say you don't have a character built, and um, but you still went ahead and maxed out their level, their crystal level to 90, and you have two other C90 characters, then you can take those characters, carry the one character you don't have built, and guess what? It'll still count, and you'll get those uh those uh five providence scores per character. So uh other than that, there's not really too much to uh say about the uh, ultimate missions. I mean, as you can see right here, once you've gathered enough use this menu to craft them all. So uh, whenever the uh, update goes through for global default and once our Ultima weapons uh, uh, is finally accessible, um, you're gonna notice right here that we are getting a new row and that row uh, will be specifically for Ultima, uh, for anything related to the Ultima weapons and whatnot. So uh, hopefully this this uh, infographic helped clear, clear up any questions that you may still have and again if you still have any other questions feel free to comment down 
in the comment section below, and I will get to them as quickly as possible. But uh, other than that, though, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.